फाइव सेकेंड्स टू गो स्टार एट दिस जंक्चर वी मे ब्रीफली सर्वे द रेलिवेंट लीगल प्रोविजन्स सेक्शन वन हंड्रेड फोर्टी वन आई पी सी डिफाइन्स अनलॉफुल असेंबली इट सेज एन असेंबली ऑफ फाइव और मोर पर्सनस इज डेजिग्नेटेड एज अनलॉफुल असेंबली इफ द कॉमन ऑब्जेक्ट ऑफ द पर्सनस कंपोजिंग दैट असेंबली इज टू कमिट एन इलीगल एक्ट बाय मीन्स ऑफ क्रिमिनल फोर्स एज पर सेक्शन वन हंड्रेड फोर्टी एट आई पी सी विच डील्स विद राइटिंग आर्म्ड विद डेडली वेपन हु एवर इज गिल्टी ऑफ राइटिंग बींग आर्म्ड विद अ डेडली वेपन और विद एनी थिंग विच यूज एज वेपन ऑफ ओफेंस इज लाइकली टू कोज डेथ शैल बी पनिस्ड विद इम्प्रीजनमेंट ऑफ आइदर डिस्क्रिप्शन फॉर ए टर्म विच मे एक्सटेंड टू थ्री ईयर्स और विद फाइन और विद बोथ Writing is defined in section 146 IPC as per the said definition whenever force or violence is used by an unlawful assembly or by any member thereof in prosecution of the common object of such assembly every member of such assembly is guilty of the offence of writing this brings us to the pivotal section which is section 149 ipc section 149 ipc says that every member of an unlawful assembly shall be guilty of the offence committed in prosecution of the common object section 149 ipc is quite categorical it says that if an offence is committed by any member of an unlawful assembly in prosecution of the common object of that assembly or such as the members of that assembly knew to be likely to be committed in prosecution of that object every person who at the time of committing of that offence is a member of the said assembly is guilty of that offence thus if it is a case of murder under section 302 ipc each member of the unlawful assembly would be guilty of committing the offence under section 302 ipc in krishnappa versus state of karnataka this court while examining section 149 ipc held as follows it is now well settled law that the provisions of section 149 ipc will be attracted whenever any offence committed by any member of an unlawful assembly in prosecution of the common object of that assembly or when the members of that assembly knew that offence is likely to be committed in prosecution of that object so that every person who at the time of committing of that offence is a member will be also vicariously held liable and guilty of that offence section 149 ipc creates a constructive or vicarious liability of the members of the unlawful assembly for the unlawful acts committed pursuant to the common object by any other member of that assembly this principle ropes in every member of the assembly to be guilty of an offence where that offence is committed by any member of that assembly in prosecution of common object of that assembly or such members or assembly knew that offence is likely to be committed in prosecution of that object the factum of causing injury or not causing injury would not be relevant where the accused is so to be roped in with the aid of section 149 ipc the relevant question to be examined by the court is whether the accused was a member of an unlawful assembly and not whether he actually took active part in the crime or not thus this court held that section 149 ipc creates a constructive or vicarious liability of the members of the unlawful assembly for the unlawful acts 
committed pursuant to the common object by any other member of that assembly by application of this principle every member of an unlawful assembly is roped in to be held guilty of the offence committed by any member of that assembly in prosecution of the common object of that assembly stop